Hello everybody and welcome to another data recovery video. This time I'm working on a Seagate Backup Plus Slim and it's a two terabyte model. This one's been mailed in from a user on the Central Coast. We are a expert data recovery company and they've had it with a local computer store who have tried for a week or two and can't get any data off. So they've mailed it in. Now, I am used to getting these little Seagate hard drives in every day. They're very cheap, they're very nasty, and there's so many different problems out there that's happening with them. Now, I wanna show you the exact reason why this hard drive has failed. It's got four rewrite heads, and one of those heads is not working, and that is causing the hard drive to brick at the end user level. So I can bypass that. I've been able to get data from all the good heads, but because it's a lot of important data and it's a lot of media files, I need to get this one head working again, otherwise the results are gonna be terrible. So this drive should read at about 100 megabytes a second, but if you have a look here on head one, it's about five kilobytes a second. And that's just not gonna to work to recover two terabytes of data. So we're checking the heads under the microscope to see if there's any contamination that I can clean off or any visible damage for this slow reading. It looks okay. I might zoom in even closer and take a better look. Okay, I'm zoomed right in on head number one here and I'm just trying to see if there's anything visually I can see wrong with it. A bit hard to see on camera because the focal point is moving around but it literally looks totally fine so um, we'll have to put a new set of heads in this so I've replaced the faulty head and what a difference it's made we're getting up to 50 megabytes a second and now I'll be able to recover all the two terabytes worth of data for this customer that's all for this video guys if you have a Seagate hard drive and you need data recovery I'll leave a link in the description and as always I'll see you guys in the next video